Hey, hey, party people. Welcome back. Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys how to draw male fashion figures. I take it back. I guess you could use these figures for pretty much anything. I I've had students who just illustrate stuff just for funsies. Graphic designers, illustrators who are all into Sailor Moon, uh, illustrators who are all into more classic Western animation. So, figures, you know, I'm gonna show you boys. I'm gonna show you how to do guys. Now, if you have watched all of my female fashion figure videos, now you got the fashion figure thing nailed. Um, so, at this point, learning the four steps for male croquis building should be a snap. If you have not watched my female, a little bit fat female fashion figure, oh, Jesus, female fashion figure videos, it's fine because I'm not going to assume that you've learned all that stuff. I'm just going to take it all from scratch. So you don't have to watch those can if you want to do girls you don't have to because not all menswear designers are also women's wear designers it's fine okay so just to review a little bit um, on the four steps of croquis building this is uh, how I break it down for beginners yeah I'm assuming that everyone who's watching these videos doesn't know anything about drawing or knows very little bit about drawing figures. And so I break it down into four steps to make everything more, just everything easier from the beginning. And then as you get used to drawing like this, you know, I'm sure you can skip steps and stuff later on. But for now, I'm breaking it down into, you know, bite-sized little chunks of information. So the four steps are, one, tracing the gesture where we get the pose and the vertical proportions of the figure nailed. Two, building the body where we flesh out the body some so it looks like a little robot figure. And number three is adding anatomy. So we take our basic body-esque looking chunk of marble and start chipping away at it to create muscle shapes. And number four is Photoshopping with pencil where we do two things, two main things. One, do any corrections that we hadn't addressed before. And two, think about the kind of customer we're designing for, the kind of character, the kind of muse, and to change the body to fit our needs. This video, I'm gonna go over steps one and two. I'm probably gonna devote an entire video to step three because there's a lot of anatomy to cover. And, you know, men are, you know, we want our male models to be more muscular than typically our female models, just in general. And so it's important for our male figures to have the deltoids and the triceps and you know, but that's another video. Today, I'm going to do steps one and two for uh, two, po two different poses. So let's get started. You will need tracing paper, some skinny mechanical pencils because I don't know if you've met me, but I'm lazy. And if there's an easier way to do something, I will take it. There's a smarter, easier, faster, lazier way to do something, I will take it. And you know, I hate sharpening pencils. Who has time for that? So I just, I do like 99% of my pencil work with mechanical pencils. So I get some 0.3, some 0.5s in harder leads like H, HB for croaky work. I have skinny uh, erasers. We draw small. The hell am I gonna do with a giant block eraser? Artist tape, you know, something not sticky, something you can peel up easily, you know, clear graph rulers. And you're gonna need visual references. Look, you guys, my job is to literally look up mostly naked hot men on the internet this is my job. Whose life is better than mine? Oh my God.
<laughs> so that's what you're going to do. You're going to look on the internet and go look for pictures, large, unpixelated, clean pictures of men who are not wearing very much in the way of clothing so that you can see their musculature, you can see what pose they're striking, and uh, you're gonna try to find someone that looks like kind of like the model that you want. This guy over here is very muscular, kind of your very standard, you know, hot muscular model guy. And then this guy is a little bit more on the slender side. His muscles still defined, but leaner, not quite as, Lumpy? Lumpy? Rounded? Something? But still very like thinner, hot model-esque. The best place to really look for uh, for visual references for men are Italian menswear runway shows and underwear shopping sites because Italian men love their teeny tiny underwear. Case in point. The first thing we're gonna do is figure out the plumb line. And the plumb line is your center of gravity. You got to figure out how they look standing straight up and down. And uh, when you tra transfer your figures onto final paper, they're not all floating in space, but they look like they're standing straight up and down. And you figure this out by finding the base of your throat, your super sternal notch, this little divot in here and uh, the weight distribution of your feet. When you have a pose like this where all his weight is on one foot, you see how his toes are still hovering midair, so this leg could not be supporting any weight. This is his weight leg. All his weight is here, and so I've marked his plumb line from the center of this weight ankle to his super sternal notch. When you have a pose like this where his feet are firmly, both firmly planted on the floor, I chose the center of these two feet as where the weight distribution is centered. If you have a question as to how the weight is distributed, then just get up and do the pose in the figure and you will feel it in your own body. Oh, this this leg has more of the weight or all the weight is on this leg and I'm just balancing on this leg. You know, you'll feel it and be able to figure out where to place your plumb line. We've laid the tracing paper over the guy and we're going to trace the pose, not the body. Why do you not trace the body? Wouldn't that be super easy? I mean, he's a really good model, ready to go and trace the body. Yeah, no, you could do that. And you know, if you want to do that, that's fine, but you're not going to learn anything. You're just going to learn how to trace really well. and. That's a skill, sure, um, but that is not what I'm teaching here. I mean, I don't really need to teach people how to trace figures, hopefully. Anyway, we're not learning how to trace here. We're learning to create our own bodies. And there will come a point where you do this often enough where you won't even need visual references anymore. You'll be able to figure this out on your own. Like, I don't really go look at pictures anymore, you know, just for funsies now, but I'm pretty good at being able to figure out the poses on my own at this point because I am old and I've been drawing for 800 years. So we have this. We're going to take our ruler. We're going to trace our plumb line. Trace the head, not just the face. You're going to trace the whole head. Mark the center line. I like to mark the ears. And we're going to find that clavicle. Here's your collarbone. That's your clavicle. And you're going to find the ends of it to create your shoulder angle. I'm going to put my neck in here, just the direction it's going. And I'm going to draw my pec box like this. And I'm going to start building my center front. My center front being the middle of my torso. There are my pecs. Here is my belly button. And so my center line has to go through my belly button. And here is the center of his crotch. 
So there's the center front. We're going to develop his pelvic box now. So pelvic boxes do not start up here. You know, I've had students who draw pelvic boxes from their waist and that's not where our hips are. Okay, pelvic box, pelvises are hips, so keep your pelvic boxes at your hips. I will tell you right now that pelvic boxes are some of the more difficult uh, concepts for students to grasp. So if you don't get this the first couple of passes, don't feel bad. You are not alone. And I have a whole video called Troubleshooting Fashion Figures that goes over uh, the most difficult parts of developing fashion figures like pelvic boxes over and over and over again so you can see it done on multiple figures and that video i'll put the link below that video it only features female figures but the method is exactly the same and so if you're having problems with pelvic boxes go ahead and watch that one here is your center front and you're going to create your hip angle and it, this is going to be a 90 degree perpendicular line you're gonna draw for me two rectangles on either side of your center front that are the same size. So this should be the same size as this. And whatever you have left over is your side. You actually do see a teeny tiny bit of his side there. If he was arching his back, like a lot of women do when they're trying to walk all sexy on the runway, you would see the pelvic box tipped and see the top of the pelvic box. But you don't because he's standing straight up and down. So I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm just going to shadow this to show that that is his side. Let's do his arms. So I'm just going to trace his shoulder width. On average, men's shoulders are about three heads wide. So just to double check your work, three heads wide. Like, yeah. And of course, some guys, they really develop their deltoids. And so the musculature of their deltoids is going to go past that. But, you know, this is a nice, like, general guide. You're going to mark the elbows. And you're not going to give me this little tiny dot, you know, to get the pose. You're going to mark the entire width of the elbows so that later on when you're fleshing them out you know how to how wide to make that elbow same thing with the wrists gesture in the hands And then let's do the legs. If you can't figure out where his knees are, just trace them. They're like, oh, there they are. They're right there. There is his kneecap. His whole knee is in here. There's his other kneecap. His whole knee is here, end of his thigh. And then his ankle. And then trace his feet. And this foot is very not foreshortened. And there's the step one. And so now you have the pose and uh, you have the vertical proportions. And now we're gonna flesh them out a little bit. Step two is building the body. You're gonna take your tracing paper, fold it over. Use the width of the elbow and wrist markers that you used to flesh out your guy. Now his hips are gonna skim like that. Yeah, you're gonna see a little bit of the side here, so I'm gonna put that in. You're not swimmer's V that's sitting in here like this. Don't put hips, don't, you know, when I would draw girls, remember we used to flare out for hips. But no, with guys, we're gonna keep it all narrow through the hips. 
And there are your completed steps one and two for your first male fashion figure. I know he doesn't look like much now, but I promise we flesh him out. He's gonna look awesome. Let's do another one. Does it sound like I'm having fun? Cause I'm totally having fun. So this guy is a three quarter. So, you know, facing a little bit away from the camera. His plumb line, you can see all of his weight is distributed onto this foot. Cause you know, he's just kind of balancing on his toes there. And there's the super external notch. So I drew the plumb line and you're like, uh, Zoe, that plumb line is not parallel to the size of the paper. You know what? Screw the paper. It doesn't matter, okay? This is the center of gravity. And you're like, well, how can that be? And it's like, look, photographers, they don't always hold their cameras straight up and down. Also, photographers use Photoshop and they twist things around for things to look the way they want them to look, okay? But here, you put it like this guy, he's gonna look like he's standing straight up. Some things you just have to trust me. I may have done this once or twice or one million times. All right, so let's start with that plumb line. And let's trace that head. I like to mark the ear and the center front, center front. So you can kind of capture the angle of the head. So it's easier later to put in your facial features. We got the angle of his neck. We have his super sternal notch, and so we have his collarbone, and so we have the angle of his shoulders right there. We're gonna draw in his center front, so we have the center of his pecs. Here's his belly button. And his hips are nice and relaxed, and we're just gonna, it's just straight swoop. When you do the hips, and it's slightly three quarter, there is some temptation to follow the bulge. Don't draw me the center front line of the bulge, the pelvis, okay? Ignore the bulge. We have his pecs in here. And we're gonna do his pelvic box next. So these, those are not his hips. Those are his obliques. You know, these are your abs, these are your obliques. So there's your obliques cut. His hips are here, that's 90 degrees. So remember pelvic box, the top of the pelvic box is low, like halfway between your crotch and your belly button, right around there. And the pelvic box ends at crotch level and the sides of the pelvic box have to stay inside the confines of the body. Okay, don't start drawing your pelvic box out here because you have to build your body parts around it. And then next thing you know, you're like, wow, she has girl hips. So this has to be the same length as this. So here's the front of his pelvic box. It's small because he's twisted. He's twisted more at his hips than at his shoulders. And all of this is side view. here and you're like what about this yeah that's all gluteus maximus there's his pelvic box let's add his arms so we've marked his arms his elbow his wrist his hand is here here's his other shoulder other wrist and then you gesture in his hands so you're looking at this you're thinking wow this is a really big wrist marker and you're like this is a very small wrist marker and you are right because wrists are not round if you were to look at a cross-section of a wrist, most people's wrists, they're wide and flat. So if you have a pose where you see the side view of a wrist, your wrist is gonna be very narrow. But if you see a pose where you see the top or the bottom of a wrist, it's gonna be much wider. Look at my wrist, you guys. And so something like this, you're gonna see 
the bottom of one and the side of another and so you're going to have two different wrist sizes and that's okay don't try to make them the same size because they're not the same thing goes for your ankles go ahead and look at your own feet feet from the front ankles look pretty narrow and then when you look at them from the side they're pretty wide and they have to be because they support all your body weight but yeah they look different and so you need to make those markers different sizes according to the angle of the ankle that you're drawing angle of the ankle say that five times fast female fashion figures and angles of the ankle not bad so we've done his arms his whole upper body let's mark his knees knee and then we have his weight ankle his calf and his foot and then his other ankle is over here and there is his step one Fold them over and then let's flesh them out. There's that V I marked before. Yeah, I'm gonna give him however much butt he needs, but there's that. And yeah, see, there is a lot of crossover because he's so three quarter. Don't forget to mark your center front. And there is, there he is, step one and two of this three quarter figure. If you're not getting it yet, that's fine. Ask me questions, drop me all the questions. Maybe you should take a look at the troubleshooting fashion figures video. Maybe you should review my video on steps one and two for women because the methods are the same. I mean, yeah, I address things like breasts in that one, but the basic steps are the same, and you'll see me do them on different poses. Maybe learn a thing or two, maybe decide you wanna do women's wear after all, but the tools are here to help you learn, so help yourself, okay? Hit the subscribe button because I will be shortly uploading new videos on the next steps of croquis building, going over anatomy, perfecting your figures, and then I'm going to post one all about elongating figures into a nine and a half head uh, kind of classic elongated proportion male fashion figure. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do those faces videos. I told you. Oh, and I'm going to do one on hair. And I'm going to do one specifically for short hair and facial hair and, you know, buzz cuts and stubble that are mostly, not always, but mostly in the domain of guys. So I'm going to upload those too. So yeah, come visit me again or hit the subscribe button and get a notification of when to visit me again. All right. So until next time, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. I am not made of magic. I am made of practice. Okay, I might be made of a little bit of magic. But go practice and then come back. And by the time we're ready to add our anatomy, you should be ready to go. All right, see you next time.